One of the hypotheses that we have to look at is that we live in an age of entitlement. And, and perhaps it's better to look at a different industry than the financial services industry. But if you, if you were to look at the automotive industry, consumers feel entitled. They feel entitled to buy Toyotas and Hondas and whatever else that they feel like. Uh, uh, the UAW for a long time felt entitled. The retirees feel entitled. Management feels entitled. The investors feel entitled. The regulators feel entitled. What happens when you live in a society where everyone feels entitled? Well, GM right now is teetering on the, bank of, on the brink of bankruptcy. And what I would say is that as a society, one of the things that we might want to look at is what, what, are, what are the kind of things that you need to do to a culture to embed a sense of ethical restraint? A little bit. And there's been, there's been tremendous work on this by, by folks like Hernando de Soto and Francis Fukuyama about the fact that in a way we're engaging in a giant thieves dilemma. You know the, the story about how they separate uh, two thieves and they put them in, uh, in different holding cells and if, they don't, and, and if they trust each other, both are going to go away free. The system will work for them if they have trust. But if one trusts and the other doesn't, the one that cheats wins. So both knowing this, both tend to cheat, both incriminate each other, they both go to jail. And you can see this whether it's traffic. All of y'all stay in line, I'm cutting to the front. But if everybody cuts to the front of the line, then you have a traffic jam and everybody loses. If everybody feels entitled, you have the equivalent of a virtual traffic jam. But so then what happens when, when you have an intersection like this? At, once you start having repeated traffic jams, you start getting a stop sign. Then you get the, the stop lights. Then you get the police officer. And all of a sudden, what would have been a free-flowing system nine times out of 10 has become institutionalized more friction. The transaction costs have become much more embedded in, into the entire system. And this, I'm afraid, is what is ha going to happen with, with financial services and with other industries if we don't think about our ethical posture. How do you, how do you start to embed a little bit of a culture of restraint in, a, in order to, so that you give up that last dollar or you give up that marginal benefit for the sake of being able to continue to receive that benefit over more and more period of time. And uh, this, all of these things are things that, that I, I don't know that, that we have the answers to. And I would submit that although we want some actions to come out of this, this conversation today, that we have the, the, the humility to know that this is going to be a, a much longer term process and that we are going to have a lot of complex, interactive things that we're going to have to do, a network effect that we're going to have to embody here of multiple folks pursuing multiple strategies at the same time if we really are going to achieve what I think all of us want, which is a functioning financial system that manages risk and enables us to, to uh, move forward in terms of economic and social progress. Mm -hmm.